which gas makes the most bites, and on which planet. Learn it today, one bite at a time. I've already shown you the simplest autobite farm machine and two overpowered autobites farm, but unfortunately because of bugs and patches they don't work as well as they should anymore. My poor bite farm. So today you are going to learn how to make the dear old bite contraption that most players use. Since it's just a standard way to make bites, I like to call it the vanilla bite farm. Pure vanilla. Mm, that's a 10. We're going to use the research chamber, but which resource provides more bites? And which planet? As always, there are many ways to do the same thing in Astromir. And another one. But let's see the design that I believe is the best overall. And at the end of the video, I'm going to rank some setups and show you on which planet you should build this bite farm to maximize your output. Subscribe to help the channel reach 50k subs. For now, I'm heading to Vizenia since I have my installment here. By the way, how many bytes do you currently have? Let me know in the comment. Let's start with a platform. You may have the square one and have the condenser sit on it. Then add a medium platform with an auto arm and another square platform with a research chamber. Once you get the first can of gas, you can put it in the auto arms filter slot. Then remember to switch everything on and loop the atmospheric condenser. Make sure to have enough power. To power all, you're going to need 23 units of power per second, which corresponds to 6 RTG. But the contraption will work at any power rate, just lower. Make sure to connect all platforms and we're done. Are you sure about that? Actually, before we see which gases and planets are the best, I would make some improvement like this large platform B so that we can have some storage here for extra gas. Sounds like my stomach. The auto arm goes here to the right into the research chamber and this is an overall better contraption. As you can see I can extract different gases depending on which planet I am. Keep in mind that each planet may also have a different amount of that gas in its atmosphere, so you may get more of it depending on the planet. So let me rank the best planets and gases for this contraption and give you my recommendation. This is brought to you by the cool members of the channel. Let's start right away with the worst place, the solo. Man, I really feel for this planet or moon or whatever, but come on, this thing doesn't even have any gas. And this is because it does not have an atmosphere. This guy is just hanging out there for no reason. I'm not surprised people try to cancel it from the star map. And <laughs> look at that platform flying around. Oh, even my shadow got moved by the air pressure. So if you want to do anything with the solo, just destroy it or make a Death Star. If you want to make this contraption on the starting planet Silva, you can get the best value by extracting nitrogen. It has a value of 200 and will make you 80 bytes per second. It's not much, but it's honest work. I understand that you may want to build it here since you probably have all of your printers and stuff on the starting planet, so it's not a sin, but definitely not the best place. I never noticed that pressure meter is actually animated, that's so cool. One of the most common places to gather bites is Galatio, where you can extract argon that has a value of 300 bytes, which will make you 120 bytes per minute. Same story for Kalidor, where you can get sulfur for the same value but for some reason it's not so well known. I guess they should invest more in advertisement. The second gas with the best value would be methane, which has a value of 400, but you can get that only on Aatrox and Novos. Well, this abandoned solar array comes in handy. I just need to move it and flip it so that it's facing the sun and it can catch some sun rays. It's not working, let me try with the winch and it's kind of working somehow. Okay, now I just need to plug it in, it's producing quite some power. I had a lot of fun on Novus this time, I was trying to land in this natural place and I just land there in a dig and oh man, how am I gonna get out of this now? <laughs> so that was <laughs> something very interesting. And the next thing I see is the shuttle piece. I don't think I ever seen one like this with a lid on top of it, so that was fun. After that I landed on another spot which has an abandoned landing pad with a gravity globe, but more especially a tree in the middle of it. Oh man, I really enjoyed it. If you are on Aatrox, you would just not bother, because as we are going to see soon, you can extract a gas with a higher value there. I just gotta be careful, I'm trying to survive aggressive flora and my silliness all at the same time. If you are on Novus, 
you could make this machine but Novos only has a 75% concentration of methane, which is good but not the best. You will get about the same amount of bites on Kalidor and Glacio by extracting sulfur and argon, since it has a lower bite value but is found in higher concentration. Did you know that wind turbines work even if not placed on a platform? This sound is actually relaxing for the first 5 minutes. Maybe I could use ice and turbines to create some milkshakes. Fortunately I have Kuya Games Mug, the most advanced technology to keep yourself hydrated when playing Astronaut. But the absolute fastest bite machine would be on Aatrox, since it's the only planet where you can get helium, the gas with the highest bite value of 500, producing 200 bites per minute. Granted that you can provide maximum power to the contraption. The downside is that you can only get 25% of helium out of Aatrox's atmosphere, which makes it kind of slow. So where do I recommend that you place this contraption? If you have just started a new game, I would skip Silva altogether, since you would have to go to other planets anyway to get the resources to print a chemistry lab needed to get plastic to print the atmospheric condenser. So you have three main options. Gather Argon on Glacial, Methane on Novos, or Sulfur on Kalidor. Among these three, I would recommend Kalidor, since you're going to need Sulfur for your TNT farm as well. Otherwise, how could you destroy the sassy De Solo that is obstinately not producing any gas? But in early game, you may prefer a cheaper bite farm, like the one I will show you at the end of this video. But if you're in late game, and for whatever reason you still need bites, or you just want to flex, yeah, then definitely go to Aatrox and collect helium, 200 bytes per minute and no question asked. It's true that you can only get 25% of helium from Aatrox atmosphere, but it's still the highest value gas, and the chamber will take enough time to research it, so that by the time it's done, you will have another helium ready to be researched if you provide enough power. This is what most biters do, as I showed you in my 10 different types of Astronaut player video. And second place still goes to Aatrox actually, you may collect methane, which is found at 100 ppu in the atmosphere, more than on Novos. In reality you can build this contraption wherever you want, after a few hours you are going to get more bites than you could ever spend anyway with any of this setup. I really hope that this contraption does not get broken again by future updates, let me know in the comments if you see anything wrong with the video or it gets patched. I will post the most relevant updates, if any, in the first comment or the description of the video. On which planet do you like to build your bite farm? Let me know in the comments. Watch how to destroy the solo with this TNT farm or how to make the simplest autobite farm. Or any of my astronaut videos, stay safe.